Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is a continuation from my curly to straight routine. If you haven't seen it already, I'll link it in the description box below. Just to let you guys know, this is not a full tutorial on how I cut my hair. I do have several videos on my channel, so I will link those down below. Okay, so that's all done now. As you can see, the results are amazing. So now I'm gonna trim my hair. I feel like I'm gonna need a big trim because it's really thin at the ends. Okay, let me show you. Okay. So I do know that hair does thin. You know, it's thicker at the root and thinner at the ends. But as you can see there, short hairs there, got short hairs at the back. You know, so I just want to try and get my hair all even now. So I do feel like I'm going to cut off a considerable amount today. So this is what my hair's looking like. In the back. Lovely. Okay, so now I'm going to trim my hair. So to evaluate how much I'm going to cut off, I'm just going to comb my hair down to see how thin it gets. I think I'm going to cut that much off. It's pretty thin there. I just want to get some bulk back. How long is my hair actually? That's quite long. That is quite long. Got my clips. I'm going to go ahead and cut straight across using this one first and then I'm going to do like face frame layers and maybe some layers with this one. So my intention with this haircut was to cut a pretty decent amount off so that I'm a bit more happier with the thickness of it. But as you will see, I chickened out and I cut off pretty much the same amount I've been cutting off with the straight cuts, which is about two and a half, two to two and a half inches. I just can't bring myself to cut so much off at once. Ooh, that's a lot of hair. That's about three inches. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a lot off. It's scaring me to cut off that much at once, but it's just too thin. And I'm gonna cut more off when it's curly anyway, so yeah. It's been just over a year now since my hair loss. And if you don't know, I did lose about a third of my density, if not half. My hair is really thin well to me it's really thin now compared to what my hair used to be the loss was pretty even all over but i did notice that there was a lot of hair missing <laughs> from the perimeter of my hair so the front and the back really? it's thin it's very thin it needs to go let's do it I notice it more so at the back because I don't have that density where my length is like I usually have. It's possibly due to too many buns. Throughout my depression, I pretty much wore my hair up majority of the time. Not necessarily in tight buns, but I wore it up. So I do a wash and go or a braid or twist up and it'll be up in a scrunchie. So, you know, if you wear a style over and over again, you are potentially going to get breakage in that area. It's not short. I'm used to have my hair this length anyway. I feel like I can actually cut off a little bit more. Because look, the back hairs. I just want it to catch up a little bit. Not too bad. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm just gonna do the rest of the straight across. I'm use the pink clip now. So as you can see in the video, my hair looks quite sparse in the front and at the nape. So those areas still need to catch up, which is why I was doing the straight cuts, just to try and get everything even. But it will get there. I've been taking really good care of my hair, especially in the past six months. So in the next trim, I will be adding my layers back and I will be cutting my hair again once it's curly so that I can have a better shape with my wash and goes because I do plan to wear wash and goes more regularly because that's what grew my hair to waist length the last time. So I'm going back to doing what I used to do. Well, that and Juicy Twist was my main two hairstyles. So I'm going back to that. 
because the wash and goes are low maintenance like i wash my hair style it and i'll leave it into the next wash day i don't typically need to restyle my wash and goes throughout the week because it lasts and that's why it's good to have like a good combination of products for your wash and goes because if it's not lasting more than four days then what's the point you know so most recently i've been falling out of love with my hair typically because i wasn't satisfied with the way they were coming out my wash and goes will look funny my braid outs and my twist outs look funny just because i don't have that density in the back anymore so that area shrinks up a lot more i guess it's the weight of the hair that elongates it i don't know but yeah the front section of my hair hangs lower and the back section shrinks up and i did use to blow dry the roots at the back of my hair to make it hang lower back in the day but this time it's not really working out even if i do that so i've not really been liking the way my hair has been coming out and majority of the time when i record a video i would style my hair and literally my hair will be up in a pineapple for the rest of the week because i just don't like the way my hair is behaving so i do feel like the straight haircuts really don't work out for my hair because i've got 3c at the top of my head and 4a at the back so the 4a shrinks a lot more than the 3c and that's why it hangs lower as well so i will be going back to my layered hairstyles which should sort that issue out for me so yeah the hair loss really changed how all of my styles looked plus with the straight cuts as i said but i can see that i'm finally getting some density back and i will be recording another video on what i've been doing to get my density back so if you're interested in seeing that video make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already i'll link my other diy haircut videos down below and the links for these haircut clips that i use in this video too because this video is not really a tutorial it's just more of a hair update to show you guys what my hair is looking like right now and to show you guys how much i'm trimming off this time so if you'd like to see a proper tutorial of me explaining what i'm doing i'll leave the links for those videos down below and also make sure to follow me on insta and tiktok because i will be showing all of my tips for hair loss on there or you can just see on the youtube shorts here as well so you're probably watching the video and thinking what the hell am i doing right now i cut off quite a lot for my front layers simply because as you can see that area is so sparse so it's better to just chop it off anyway but don't be alarmed about the amount that i'm cutting off because it looks amazing with my curly hair but you'll see the videos to come where i revert my hair back to curly so these face framing layers was also flattering with my straight hair as you can see it just gives it more shape instead of just being straight across and having that long draping hair in front of my face <laughs> but if you want me to explain this process in a bit more detail let me know in the comments below so that's all the hair trimmed as you can see it's looking amazing as i mentioned i'm not going to be doing any more straight cuts and i'm going to go back to doing layers so that my hair can have a bit more shape i think i have a bit more density now to feel comfortable enough to do layers so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing next time so that's all for today's video the next video will be the revlon hair drying comparison video so i will see you guys there thanks for watching bye